In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, imagine a roach crawling out of the cabinet from a little crack, and so you wonder what that is. You go take a look at this roach, and then suddenly you notice another roach not too far away crawling on the same cabinet. And so then you notice this crack, this hole in the cabinet. And so you look in there and you see tons of roaches, tons of these disgusting creatures. I personally like roaches. They're not the worst creature, but a lot of people find them absolutely reprehensible. So we'll go with that. This disgusting, filthy insect that it's completely, completely repulsive. And young boys, they're going through a similar path as that. They notice an outlier of the pornographic industry. Maybe in a song, maybe in music. I said music twice. Maybe in movies, I mean. Or maybe in the conversation of friends. And then they find this crack. And out of curiosity, they venture into it. They probably were never warned about pornography before they are immersing themselves in it. And I, I use the term immerse, immersing because once you find that crack, you instantly become immersed in it. You are exposed, say, visiting that pornographic website as a young boy for the first time. You're completely exposed to all of that filth that you don't know how to react to it. And so just imagine a deer in the headlights. They don't know how to react to the car coming head on at them 60 miles per hour so they just stand there and the young boy does that same thing when a million demons are coming full throttle at him to expose him to all of these sins all of these vices that can keep him locked in chains to keep him blinded from all goodness and all light for years for decades and that is the plight, the danger that a lot of young people are falling into today. All people at all ages of society are falling into this plague of pornography. And it's a culture of pornography. It's not just the website. It's all of it. It's the media, the music, the entertainment industry. It's people talking about it. It's friends at the school table in middle school talking about it. It's when you're on social media and you witness some of this filth, some of these posts from people, some of these spam accounts, some of everything, it's everywhere. And so it's very hard to completely avoid, but you have to have that strength to immediately recognize what is pornography and to completely avoid it for the sake of God, for the love of God, for chastity's sake, for, for, for virtue's sake, to completely avoid that. And a young boy in today's world who does not know about virtue, does not hear about it, does not know that he is meant to become a saint, who does not know how to love God, when he is exposed to that, he does not have the shield to block him from completely falling in this pitfall, this trap. And so it can take years to recognize just how deadly of a trap he is in. A lot of young adults now, young men, I hear them talking about this. They're all wanting to break free from pornography. There's apps, there's programs, there's YouTube channels dedicated to it. It shouldn't have to be like this. It shouldn't be such a hidden sin, a hidden danger, a multitude of sins, all hidden, that we are afraid to talk about. We are afraid to warn our young people in society today. 
And so they fall prey into it. They don't know what it is, and they become completely trapped by it. And so why is pornography, all aspects of it, all forms of media, why is it such a horrible thing? It is such, such a terrible thing because it encompasses such a multitude of sins. It combines them together. And it's novelty. It's witnessing something new. There are hours, I believe, like half of the internet, the data on the internet is completely pornographic filth. How much evil is out there on Google that is a search away, a couple searches away. And so it's novelty. There is endless amounts of it. Humans love novelty. Just look at the bookshelf behind me, all of those books. And so pornography, it also encompasses that curiosity. Some of these sins, some of this evil is so horrible that it really attacks human curiosity, especially for people that are just discovering it, young people. They have a curiosity, almost a shock. The shock completely blinds them. And so it's that curiosity. All of those hidden things, it becomes something that lasts for years. A hidden life. You don't want people to have access to your phone, so you put a password on it. You don't want people to see your search history. It's like Nowadays, my phone doesn't have a password on it. Anyone can view my search history. And so it's a life that I'm not ashamed to live, a life that I can show other people. But people that are immersed in this pornographic culture, it's a complete life separated from other people. They are not offering themselves to other people in any sense as a gift, in any sense of charity, of any sense of helping other people. They aren't concerned about other people when they're concerned about when they're going to get their next fix, their next hit of the pornographic entertainment culture in the same way that a drug addict is addicted to his vice. So are the people who are immersed in this pornographic culture attached to whether it be the website, whether it be the culture around it, the Facebook posts, the music, the movies, the television industry, all of that that just builds off of this, this cycle, this culture of inversion, an inversion of all good, of all beauty, of all truth. Someone said that Pornography is the devil's iconography. You see some of these beautiful icons above me that when you look at them, they're like a window to heaven. They take you to heaven if you meditate upon them. But pornography is tearing down. It is completely debasing the human person, all of their goodness. And it affects people. When people watch this filth, this garbage, it is taking their view of themselves, their view of other people, their view of the world. It's erasing all virtues, hope, charity, faith, chastity, you name it, humility. All of them are gone. The longer pornography attacks a young person or any person for that matter, a lot of people today have grown up with this pornographic industry it completely is destroying society i can't even imagine just how many millions of people they are exposed to this industry on any different level on any different whether it be the outliers some of the movies we are watching some of the television shows our generation is watching it is slowly, it is slowly, but eventually just completely wrecking people their entire lives become a train wreck. 
They are not growing in virtue. They are not building relationships. They are not growing in love. And they are completely growing in really this self-embarrassment, this self-hatred. And so it's a terrible thing that we need to do all in our powers to erase, to destroy, to fight back against, to warn people about. We have to do something. So firstly, let us pray. Let us turn to Mary, the pinnacle of chastity. She can teach us how we should view other humans, not as entertainment, but as a gift from God, a reflection of the beauty of God. So let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I am sure to make a few more videos really in this series, these hidden dangers of modern society. So stay tuned for those. I do want to make some more videos on really the hope of escaping this pornographic industry. I don't like the word escape. I like the word conquer. To conquer all of this vice, all this sin, all this evil. So that's what we're going to continue to do with these videos. Do subscribe. Do share these with people you think need them. As always, may God bless you.